In this video, I will show you how to remove or uninstall the 3DS custom firmware. It is an update to my old video which I did about 2 years ago. Let's get started. This guide applies to all hacked 2DS and 3DS running the boot 9 strap. To check if your console complies with it, press and hold the select button and the power button to get into the Lumet 3DS configuration screen. If your Lumet 3DS is version 705 or lower, follow the A9LH2B9S guide. If your Lumet 3DS is on version 7.1, you need to update the B9S. But if your Lumet 3DS is on version 8.0 or higher, you can follow this guide. So if you have a hacked 3DS and intended to sell your device, it is good to remove the custom firmware and revert the console to stock. But if you intended to remove the custom firmware to rehack the console to fix custom firmware problems, you are 100% lost and misleading, as this is not a cure for it. Removing the hack and rehacking the console is never be a way to fix problems unless you do it for personal experience. As you see on the screen, this 3DS has so many apps and games. And I assume all of them are not legitimately comes from Nintendo. This guide will sanitize and clean up everything. Before removing everything, we will do some preliminary tests. Open the system settings. Click Internet Settings. Then click Nintendo DS Connections. Press OK. If you can get into this screen, then the Nintendo DS Connections is OK. But if you cannot see this screen, then you need to do the next section. Press B to go back. Press the back button and close the system settings. Now let's try opening the download play app and see if it is working. Choose Nintendo DS. Again, if you can get into this screen, then the DS download play is OK. But if you cannot see this screen, you need to do the next section. Press the B button to go back. Anyway, if one or both of the DS mode tests are not working and you choose to ignore it, it will stay like that even after removing the custom firmware. And that is something we don't want to happen, right? So if you have problems with the DS mode test, please follow the next section. Turn off the console for now. And remove the SD card from it. You need to have an SD card reader to open the SD card on your computer. If one or both of the DS mode fail to load, you need to do this section. But if both of the DS mode is working, then doing this won't harm your 3DS. Download the latest TWL fix for the custom firmware from the link in the description. So this is my console's SD card content. Open the 3DS folder. Now drag or copy the TWL fix file into this folder. Insert the SD card into the console. And turn it on. Open the Homebrew Launcher. Find the TWL fix and run it. Press the A button to proceed. Then press the Start button to reboot the console. After running the TWL fix, we need to get into the system settings to re-update the console. Make sure you have set up the internet connection previously. 
Click other settings, then press the right arrow until you see the system update button. Press OK to continue. And wait a while until the console finishes updating the firmware. Now we can start the procedure to remove and clean everything from this console. Turn off the console for now. Remove the SD card from it, and open it on your computer. Download these files from the link in the description. Open the GUT Mod 9 archive. Drag the GM9 folder to the root of the SD card. Replace the existing folder if it existed. Navigate to the Luma folder, then enter the Payloads folder. Drag the gutmod9.firm file from the archive into this folder. Replace the existing file if it existed. Get back to the root of the SD card. Navigate to the GM9 folder, then enter the Scripts folder. Drag or copy the safetytest.gm9 file into this folder. Again, get back to the root of the SD card, then enter the 3DS folder. Drag or copy the DSiWare uninstaller.3dsx file into this folder. Insert the SD card into the console. Now press and hold the Start button, then press the Power button. It will bring you to the God Mod 9 screen. If you are prompted to create an essential files backup, press the A button to do so, then press the A button again to continue once it has completed. If you are prompted to fix the RTC date and time, press the A button to do so, then set the date and time, then press the A button again to continue. Press the Home button, choose Scripts, then choose the Safety Test. Press the A button to continue. If it boots into the home screen, then you may proceed to the next step. But if it doesn't, or encounter an error, then do not continue with the guide, as you will break your console. Now we will try launching the system settings. If the console crashes at this point, the test has failed. Do not continue with this guide. If you can open the system settings without error, let's proceed with another test. Click Other Settings. Select Profile. Click Username and try inputting or editing the existing name if any. Click OK. If you are able to enter a new username, the test was successful. But if the keyboard doesn't appear, the screen freezes or the console crashes, the test has failed. Do not continue with this guide. Press the Back button, then close the system settings. We will turn off the console and make a NAND backup. Press and hold the Start button and press the Power button to get into the God Mod 9. Press the Home button, then choose Scripts. Select GM9 Mega Script. Choose Backup Options. Select Sys NAND Backup. Press the A button to proceed. Backing up the NAND is essential, so if something terrible happens, you can restore or revive the console to the current state. Press the A button to continue, then press the B button twice to get back into the main screen. Now press the Start button to reboot the console. In this section, we will remove all illegitimate apps and games from the console. Open the system settings. Select Data Management. Choose Nintendo 3DS. Select Software. And go ahead, delete everything from this screen.
Now press the back button twice. Now select the SIWare. Again delete all the items on the screen. Press the back button twice, then close the system settings. You can see that all the games and apps are gone. Next, open the download play app. Since the hack is still there, we need to open the Rosalina menu by pressing the L down and select button. Choose miscellaneous options. Select switch the HP title to the current app. Press the B button 3 times to exit the Rosalina menu. Press the home button to get back to the 3DS home screen. Then close the app. Reopen the download play app. You will get into the homebrew launcher. Now find the DSiWare uninstaller and run it. Press the B button to continue. Then again press the B button to quit the app. Now press the home button to get back to the main screen, then close the app. The next step is to format the console. Open the system settings. Click other settings, then press the right arrow until you see the format system memory button. Click next, click format, then press the red format button. Press OK to continue. Next, we must set up this console just like we bought it for the first time. The console is now clean, but remember, the hack is still there. Turn off the console. For the last time, we need to get into the God Mod 9. Press and hold the Start button and the Power button to open it. Press the Home button, then choose Scripts. Select GM9 Mega Script. Now choose Hex Options. Select Uninstall Hex. Press the A button. Then press the A button again. Then input the generated combo keys. Press the A button to continue. Then press the B button and choose Exit and press the A button to relock the net. Now press the Start button to boot the console. The next step is to clean up the SD card. Turn off the console. Remove the SD card from the console. Select all the files and folders except the Nintendo 3DS folder and the DCIM folder if you have it. Then delete it. Insert the SD card into the console and turn it on. And there you go, you have cleaned and sanitized the console, and you are back using the stock or factory firmware. Thanks for watching this lengthy video.